Big question is, are you awake? Or are you merely dreaming that you're awake? I use this term awake. It was sort of like in the Matrix when Neo took the red pill. He said there's no coming back. Not really. It, it, once you are awakened to what is really going on, you will never be able to see it for what you thought it was before. Now, there, there are those that want to go back into it, and they say, you know, like the guy said, oh, screw it, the, te the steak was so damn fantastic, I don't care. I want to eat it anyway. It's, you know, I don't care if it's a dream steak. What I'm getting at is that our perception is constantly being manipulated through our television, through our news, media, movies. Every bit of our perception is being managed. It's not so much that they tell you out and out falsehoods so much is that they omit information. Uh, just for instance, on the local, on the, on the, uh, recently on Fox News, I heard Shepard Smith, who I, prior to this, had some respect for, that he was one of the few that wasn't bought out. And uh, he said, just like this, if you had perception management, instead of just reporting that China and Russia wanted to opt out and veto the Syrian resolution through the UN. Shepard Smith reported it this way. China and Russia are for the killing of innocent civilians by vetoing this. Now, first off, we have to take into account, is there really the killing of innocent civilians and women and children? And if there really is, beyond the Photoshop and the, and the, and the, and the setups and the CIA operations and whatnot, who is actually committing these atrocities? Perhaps it's that they found out that this is crap and that by placing resolutions on these people is wrong. What you have to understand is by waking people up, you cannot take for granted what the idiot box tells you. Just because Sean Hannity or Alan Combs or Bill O'Reilly, big penis with his clothes on, um, wants to tell you or what they are paid to tell you does not necessarily mean that that is exactly what's going on. We remember the big tsunami that, you know, almost crashed out Japan completely and everything, uh, wiped out uh, a uh, nuclear power plant and it went critical. Well, now you don't hear anything about it. What, is that fixed? Doesn't anybody wonder what happened to it? Is there still radiation leaking out? How much radiation is leaking out? Have you been informed about the several times that it, lies have been told blatantly to the public about the actual radiation levels? Look into these things. You have the power of information at your fingertips. You can get this at any time. Any time. It's just one of those things that you can... It's such an interesting magnificent device but it's a double-edged sword as well you have to be careful perception management what I'm trying to do is some, wake some people up if you can imagine say you're in this huge uh, cabin out on vacation and all your friends and relatives are there with you and you've been partying it up and and uh, getting into the libations a little bit and everybody's having a good time and that night you go to sleep and then you wake up because you smell smoke. And you look and you notice that the cabin is on fire. Okay. Well, we've got to wake everybody up and get them out of here. But they look like they're sleeping so comfortably. And so we go around and try to wake these people up from an impending death that's, on, that's coming toward them. But rather than wake up to the reality of what's occurring outside the dream state, just five more minutes. I'm comfortable in my dream. Don't awaken me because of a stupid fire in the cabin. This is the kind of thing. But pretty soon people wake up and start seeing the smoke and they're going, hey, wait a second. And they go around and try to wake people up. But there's a problem. There's some people that would rather stay within that dream state than to face to the reality because the, the harsh reality is so out of whack from what you've been taught and everything that you've been told, everything that you are being told, 
You need to question these things for yourself and think of it from outside the box. The siege, or I'm sorry, we call it sanctions because that's a prettier name than a siege. In medieval times, they would place people, uh, various kingdoms or whatnot, under what they called siege. And that was where you didn't allow anything in, you didn't allow anything out. You basically, it was a battle of wills to, till you starve those people out. This is, the th this is what we're doing to Iran. This is what we want to do in Syria. We want to punish the population of an entire country because of the perceived actions of their leadership. Well, let's look at the perceived actions of our leadership upon the American people. It's pretty damn bad. Does that justify other countries in the world sanctioning us and blocking us out and keeping us from being able to import or export or sell our goods elsewhere in the, in the world, if we had goods <laughs> that we could sell in the world. Is that justifiable? Look at it from an outside-the-box perspective. So I need to ask you, are you really awake or are you in a dream state? Are you for Obama? Are you for Romney? Ask yourself why. Why are you for either one of these candidates? Do they wholeheartedly carry the message that you believe? They don't for me. I don't really think they do for any other people. What it is is everybody wants to just be part of a group dynamic. And so they'll pretend to believe in these things. They'll, they'll, they'll pretend to believe that it's okay to go and kill innocent people with drone strikes in other countries because our news media said they were militants or some other preposterous horseshit. Basically, just, you know, get your face out of the damn TV, do the research on your own, find out what the fuck is really going on in the world, and, and say something about it. Remember this, silence is the worst war crime 